Hey everyone, Rick at Word Search. One of the most common questions I get asked is, is how to set up your verse explorer. So in this video, I want to walk you through a very basic setup for the verse explorer. This is a common setup that I use inside of my program, especially in my main desktop. To access the setup of your verse explorer, first open up the verse explorer and then click on the blue hyperlink, which allows us to define which books we want to use. After clicking on the hyperlink, we will see the Select Books pop-up window, which is divided up into different tabs, which represent the different sections of information inside of the Verse Explorer. The first tab is the Bible tab. The first translation you should choose is either the King James or the New American Standard 95. Both of these translations have a matching concordance, which will come in handy later, and both are embedded with Strong's numbers. You can choose to stop there, or I usually also like to choose a Thought for Thought translation, like the NIV or the New Living, and then either a paraphrase like the Message or Amplified. Those secondary translations can get you more information when you're doing the English Word Study section and the Topical Word Study section inside of the Verse Explorer. The second tab is the Dictionaries and Encyclopedias tab, which will give you the information for the English Word Study section. In this section, Choose all of the books by clicking on the box next to the Dictionaries and Encyclopedias folder. The third tab is the Word Studies tab. Here in WordSearch 12, we are going to utilize our Lexicon Explorer for the Word Study information. So we only need to pick one book. If you chose the King James as your translation of choice, then you will want to pick the Strong's Concordance. If you pick the NASB, then you will want to pick the NASB Concordance. The fourth tab is the Topics tab. And inside of the Topics tab, we want to pick every book available. This allows you to get the most information possible and has the computer do the heavy work of knowing which books have information you will want to review. It starts with the Handbooks tab open, but you can minimize that and then just click on each of the boxes next to the categories. The fifth tab is the Commentaries tab. You can pick some of your favorite commentaries here, but I would recommend only picking three or four as the purpose of the commentaries area in the Verse Explorer is to confirm what you've learned in the other sections and not just read all about the passage. The final tab is the Cross References tab. You should always pick the cross references that match any of the translations that you have chosen inside of your Bible's area. Once done, click OK and you're now ready to use the Verse Explorer. To learn more about using the Verse Explorer, please join me for our Basics 5 training class. You can view the training schedule by clicking on the free live online training option on the Home tab or by visiting the training section on WordSearchBible.com. Be blessed and have a great day.